What's up legends? Sorry it's been so long. I told you I'd be back and to make up for my absence, I've come today with a beauty of a pair of boxing gloves. And they are of course the 350 Speed Tilt Lace Up Boxing Gloves from Adidas. And these gloves to me are really trying to push the envelope for once in terms of design and functionality. And me as a reviewer, this is something I have a huge amount of respect for, for any brand who are trying to do the same. And Adidas, or Adidas as we call them down under, That's an odd name! I'd have called them Chaz Wazers! Should really give themselves a pat on the back for what they've done with the 350s. And while the 350s, in my opinion, are a diamond in the rough. Up to this point, from everything else I've seen from Adidas, I haven't really been blown away by what I've seen online from their boxing and MMA ranges. However, I do hope I'm wrong about that, and if there are any other gloves or products in the Adidas range that I should be looking out for, leave them down in the comments so you can tell me exactly what I should try and review next. So I went ahead and got the 350s in the lace-up version in the 14 ounces and obviously in the white gold because they are the best looking. I did try the Velcro and the lace up side by side before purchasing these online and I just felt that it was a clear winner that the lace ups had a much better wrist closure in comparison to the Velcro. And thankfully, the entirety of this glove otherwise brings together a amazing glove for bag work and pad work, but in my opinion, not the best for sparring, but I'll get into that a little bit later. So the right glove came in at 12.7 ounces and the right glove came in at 12.6 ounces. So a little bit underweight, you wouldn't expect there to be say an ounce or two underweight for most gloves, but feeling how soft this glove is, unless they made this glove a lot bigger, it's probably going to be impossible to hit that 14 ounce weight category otherwise. Because the latex is so soft, and the cowhide, sorry, the cactus leather is so thin and so flexible. Now the profiling of these gloves is where the love really starts. These gloves are one of the first gloves to actually understand that if you want to try and hit with those front two knuckles, you need to angle the glove or at least the hand compartment in order to expose those two knuckles. So what they've done is they may have had a flat shoulder so you can expose the four knuckles, but instead they've turned the hand cuff slightly, cutting it off at the wrist here. So that way you can see these two expose themselves beautifully, making it much easier for you to hit that target. And while a traditional boxing glove isn't exactly a poor design by any means, this is a much more modern and much more ergonomic and much more effective way for beginners, even pros as well, to be able to hit with those front two knuckles with ease. And in combination with the casing and the padding, you get not only one of the best hand fits, but also one of the best punching experiences I've ever felt in a boxing glove. But before I get ahead of myself, let's take a closer look at the visuals. Now the 350s to me are exactly the direction that boxing gloves should be heading. Just like the sneaker market, when you've got shoes that speak to different people, to different markets, to different looks and to different feels, Adidas to me is starting to really look like that more urban, sort of streetwear, sleek sort of boxing glove. And it's something that I really appreciate. There are other gloves, say like the T3s that are trying to push the neon or the pastel look or the Marvel and the Star Wars collection, which I really appreciate. So gloves like that and like this are definitely the direction that I'd like to start see with boxing gloves rather than that traditional straight black or straight red. The 350s currently come in only four colorways and I think how successful this glove should be, it should come in many, many more. Um, I bought the white and rustic gold colorways with the black just to be super picky. I think that the two-tone of this glove would have been perfect. Keep with the gold, keep with the white. I think the black, in honest with all three colors, just pulls it down a little bit. That's again, being super picky from my end. Otherwise, I think this glove is the best look of the four that's currently available. But again, how successful I think this glove should be, there should be at least double the amount of colorways that are currently available. The only tiny other little niggle I have is the Made With Cactus logo they have on these gloves. With everything else being screened and looking really ergonomic and almost streamlined, it's a little bit bizarre that they would just stitch a red label on top of this, yes, it gives it a bit more of that rustic feel, but I don't understand why you would go ahead with a stitch label on a glove that's really meant to look a little bit more modern and futuristic. Staying on that topic, let's talk about just how good 
the cactus leather is and how much of a welcome addition I think it is to the boxing glove casing materials. The comfort that you feel, how sleek it is, how sweat wicking I feel that it is as well, and also how little are imperfections that it has on a set of boxing gloves, cactus leather to me could really start to become my favorite non-leather casing that you see on any fight gear equipment. And while I haven't vigorously tested these day on, day off, using these say once a week over the past 12 months, they still look almost brand new. There are tiny little scuffs from other gloves and sparring, etc. but they still almost look like they came out of the packet. And for that reason, look, if you look after these boxing gloves like any others, you should get at least 12 months of use with the casings durability alone. Next, let's look at the wrist section and the lace closure. When I look at this, I love the fact that it is a one piece foam or multiple layers of foams that don't have a separation between the wrist. 95, I would say, percent of gloves out there these days have always had that separation between the wrist and the glove compartment. I love the fact that Adidas have voided this and brought lace closures in as well. It makes for a fantastic fit. However, even though there's no separation, as this latex and the foams or the other foams within this glove are very soft, you still don't get the best wrist support in the game, as you can see. It's still very flimsy. However, I do feel that the glove against your wrist and your forearm is incredibly tight and very nice thanks to the combination of the foams obviously being together and the lace-up system. If I could again be super picky, the one little upgrade I think that gloves need in a lace-up form is some form of grooves or divots within the backside so that they make, and sorry, remain that glove to be flush. With a glove being flush to begin with, if you're chucking laces over the top, you are getting added divots on top. And if you need to lace that up, you're only going to then start to wreck your gloves. And if you don't then tape it up, there's always a chance that your laces are gonna to start to get torn or start to slip and get the way when you're sparring. And if you wear lace and loop converters like I do, it only adds further bulk. So any lace-up glove that can add divots or grooves like some of the rival boxing gloves you see around, it's a very welcome addition that I think this glove could really benefit from. Moving back to the padding, which I spoke about before being so soft, the latex in this glove overall being so soft makes this glove like a sponge. As you can see, it is so easy for me to manipulate and corkscrew this glove, making that feeling when you're hitting gloves, hitting bags, or hitting somebody else, a real gift or a real curse, depending on what you want out of your glove. And with the back of the hand only having 30 mils of foam padding, you're getting a basic amount of protection if you're going to be using these bad boys for sparring and around 15 millimeters of padding on both sides of the palm and the wrist and the forearm. So just enough if you're gonna be using these a lot for parrying and blocking with the front side of the glove. Then the most important part of the padding, we're talking about the knuckle side, you've got around 40 mils of padding on there and it is just plush enough and just just forgiving enough that if you were to hit it on the bag and pads, you're still gonna feel incredibly realistic feedback while still having a reasonable amount of protection. So if you're like me and you love a puncher's glove, you're gonna be in for a serious treat. Now in combination of all these areas of really soft padding, and the satin liner on the back and the tricot liner on the inner palm, you get probably the most mouth-watering hand fit I've ever felt in a pair of boxing gloves. I really feel that Adidas have put a lot of thought and attention into the hand fit of this glove. As I tried it on for the very first time, this glove melted to my hand immediately. It is so easy for me to open and close my hand. The fingertips of this is, or the finger compartment here, is very, very suitable. It's long enough for my fingers to not be uncomfortable. The thumb is perfect. Everything here just ticks all of the boxes in terms of hand fit. And in summary, let's talk about the value of these boxing gloves. For $270, I don't feel that these are overpriced. I think the value is 100% there, especially if you want what looks and what feels like a luxury sports car on your hands. So if you're a boxer with reasonable amount of experience, you like a glove that melts to the hand and you like a glove that gives great feedback, honest feedback, and that's half the cost of say, Fly Super Laces, I think these are absolutely the go-to bag and pad gloves for you, and if you really want to, obviously, sparring. On the other hand, if you are new to the sport of boxing or Muay Thai or MMA and you want to use a pair of gloves 
don't go for these in my opinion to start. You want something a little bit more protective, something that's gonna help build on the fundamentals. Yes, you could go out and buy something like these early, but I feel like you're probably going to give yourself more injury, especially if you're brand new. Also, if you have dodgy hands, dodgy knuckles, dodgy wrists, etc., Best to avoid these for now, get something a little bit more protective that's gonna look after your hands. And that's it, legends. So thank you so much for sticking around. If you did like this video, leave a like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. If you have any questions about the 350s, leave me a comment below or any fight gear in general. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you'd like to see more videos that I have made, check anywhere here on the screen. Thanks again so much for watching, legends. It's good to be back. It's been too long, but I'll see you all hopefully very, very soon.